Hey everyone, we're back with another installment of 4C Convention Commute Car Chat. Comic Con craziness, children. 8C, that's right. <laughs> We've evolved from 4C to 8C. We've made it beta, stronger, and more capable to. Okay, that's enough. Anyways, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to talk about something that a lot of people overlook, especially artists, when they're planning their convention season. And you better get on this quick, because they are going fast, okay? This is super important for everyone who is an artist who's ever wanted to table at a convention and make profit. Money. An area where a lot of artists want to feel successful is to walk away in the green, you know what I mean? Walk away with a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of cabbage, some of that horse radish, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just saying cash, cash radish. And this goes for every artist. It's fun to go to a convention, right? You're gonna have fun, you're gonna meet a lot of cool people, you're gonna have a good time, and you're gonna geek out. And that in itself is, is, is a good reward, okay? So for your first, I don't know, year or so as an artist in Artist Alley, you want to expect nothing. We'll go into all that cool brainy stuff that goes behind the scenes with all the planning and the convention stuff. And we'll go into all that, we will, especially with these car chats. But for now, I just want to give you a small word of advice, and that's the key word, small, you'll see why. A small word of advice that has a huge lasting impact on you as an artist in your future careers, okay? Do small town cons, start there small town conventions, small town expos, anime cons that are at a college, small town library cons. Oh, the greatest way you can get started as an artist to not only get your name out there and offer people stuff for free, like check out my, my first chapter of my comic for free on my website, you know, that sort of stuff. The best thing you can do is to go to a small town and do it there, okay? Do not, for any reason at all, go to a big convention expecting to get a table as a small time beginner artist and expect a profit. It's not gonna work, that's just not how it works. People are there to buy their Deadpool prints, they're there to buy their Deku statues and leave, you know, and have fun with their friends and watch anime in their hotel room or go to a panel and ask questions to their favorite voice actor or whatever. They're gonna do that, okay? They're not there to buy your indie comic or your half-ass attempt at drawing spirited away. I mean, I'm not here to offend anyone, but that's how most convention tables start. It really is. When they see a half-ass sketch of Deku, I'm gonna keep going back to Deku, I'm sorry. If they see a half-ass sketch of Deku that's not even colored, they're gonna put $5 on the table. And you're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, whoa, oh my gosh, okay. I, I, I'm making money, this is this is great. I can do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> not at a big con. That's where I'm going back to that, that original statement. Do small cons. Small conventions, start small, baby steps. Because customers will see your art and say it's amazing. Even if you think you half-ass it, or if you're a perfectionist, half-assing is a side effect of perfectionism. It really is. If you're a perfectionist, you don't have the energy to go the extra mile, or you keep going and keep going, and you don't know how to stop, and then you mess it up, you know? And then you're like, ah, it looks like a half-assed it. Or like, oh, it feels like a half-assed it because I, I stopped too early. That's the side effect of it, but someone out there is gonna see it and fall in love with it, okay? Don't use that as a con at the con. Con is in bad, the, the bad word, con, like a, a grifting. <laughs> okay, don't con people with your art. Instead, get a few pieces of art that you're happy with, at least 90% happy with, maybe like eight prints that are popular, and do a small con. And we'll get, we'll get into all the nitty gritty of how you can plan that perfectly and get it dialed in just right so you can make a profit at every show day one. I guarantee you, but we're not gonna start here. We're not gonna start here with the car chat. We're gonna do an official entrepreneur video that'll come later down the line when I can actually prepare it and film it at home and feel comfortable just spilling my brains out for you. But here in the car chat, I'm just gonna give you that small piece of advice for small time artists, starting out small, do a small town convention. Let's throw out some examples there. When I first started, I did medium cons, and then I was like, okay, I'm not successful at these because I don't have a lot to offer. That's okay, because this guy right here, he's coming from a public library in a small town three counties away, and he's saying, 
hey, I'm looking for artists to come to my convention. I like what you guys are doing here. This is cool. I want to do a small scale version of this con at my public library. Oh, and I was wondering, you, you have some cool art to offer here, and we have small tables, you know, typical study tables that kids use. Would you like to table at my library convention? Oh, by the way, it's free. <laughs> that there is the reason you want, not only the motivating factor and the main reason you want to do small cons, and we'll get into more details of why there's better, more amazing aspects later on with small cons, but the fact that it costs little to nothing to table at these shows means you will always turn a profit. As long as you keep your costs down for your materials and getting your stuff ready, right? You will always turn a profit. And it's not that hard because people in small towns don't have a lot going on. <laughs> they really don't. At these uh, small town library shows where I first started out, they were m mind blown to see something like this is actually happening at their town. <laughs> And you should see this small town library is so tiny the one of the first ones that I did that it looks like those old school libraries you see in like the 1950s uh, sitcoms a really old building they're really narrow they're really small and the study area is like five tables but we took those five tables and we made a semicircle a little caravan of cool art by amazing artists who are just starting out and people kept pouring in it was mind-blowing, not only for them to see that this exciting event was happening in their small-time library, but people kept pouring in because it's such a small town that people use word of mouth so well, it travels like, what? what's the saying? Uh, talk catches fire in a small town or something like that? If you know the saying, leave it down in the comments below. I, I totally forgot. Um, and I know a lot of you are from a small town. I have a lot, a lot of amazing fans from small towns down in the comments. Let me, let me hear from you. So. People kept pouring in for the first year of this library event because the word caught fire, right? And here they were. The con opened at 10. By 11.30, just before lunch, it was packed. Every table, every artist table had a line of at least two to three people waiting to make a purchase from these lovely beginning artists. It is so supportive. That's another effect you'll get from a small town is they're so supportive. Like I said, a lot of you are watching my video and you still live in the small town where we met at the convention in your library. Do you remember that? It, it's just not only are they supportive, but the lasting effect of having the small town event happen there in their library is just huge and brand new for them that it's going to it's going to leave a lasting impression. So we'll go into another video later on about how you can leave a great lasting impression as a new artist. But for now, you just got to remember small town. Start there, kids. If you're getting ready to do conventions as a, an artist for the first time, go to Google Maps and look at your town. And then look at all the tiny small towns around in the area. I guarantee at least six of them have libraries. No joke. If you zoom out wide enough where it's like a radius of 100 miles, you'll find five or six libraries right there. Then you look at the library there on the Google Maps, zoom in, see what they're called, go to their library's website, and check their calendars. Go to their email addresses and send them a, a message saying, yo, I'm a small town time artist. And I was wondering if you do any small mini cons. That's what they're called, it's mini cons. Do you have any mini cons or comic cons that you're setting up that uh, you know a lot of kids in the area would like? Nine times out of 10, it's always worked for me. And if it hasn't, that extra 10th time, nine out of 10 dentists agree. You start your own Comic-Con at that library. They would love to have you. And it takes just a little bit of planning where you go out there and you send an email to your for artist friends and their artist friends and say, hey, free tables or five bucks. You could say five bucks, then you'd make money and you wouldn't walk away with nothing as an event planner. Five bucks and you get a table here at the Comic-Con. So you could make the convention yourself is what I'm saying if they don't have one already. Back to our main point, full circle here small town cons give it a shot and you'll see that even if it's just starting out and only a few people show up those few people are going to be so passionate about what you do because small town life isn't very active they don't do a lot they they farm they work at factories you know they try out a small town con in your area let me know how it goes down in the comments and if you're looking forward to seeing or going to another convention or anything, any convention related news, let me know in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Jet Falco. Thank you so much for joining me for this 4C car talk. 
uh, convention commute, carts, chats, children, crazy, crazy Comic Con craziness, children. Uh, we lost it. 4C, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.